Let's get weird. Well, hello there, Apple Biteys. This is your Apple Bite. Raphael Tavares talking to you straight from our show here, The Written Writ. The show where you and I, and I and you, take a journey together to become better writers. As you may know, we've been challenged. Well, at least I've been challenged. Or, well, we did that joke before, so maybe it's not that challenging. <laughs> anyway, we've been challenged. And our new challenge comes from Christine. And Christine gave me the word insatiable. Insatiable, a fantastic little word, meaning that the hunger is not able to be finished, to be adequate, to be insatiable, I guess, <laughs> if you want to look at it that way. Well, that's the word, insatiable, and that was the challenge. And what popped into my head when I heard the word insatiable was a great hunger, a fantastic hunger. And what else would I think of with such a great hunger? Well, there's a couple of other things, but vampires. Yes, vampires. I thought vampires. I was like, hey, this sounds like a good word for a vampire story. And all of a sudden, an idea came to me. There was another project that we had worked with on earlier that was another word that I'm trying to remember right now, but I can't. Mm. And that started off with a little vampire type of story. So let's not, why, why, I thought to myself, why not continue the story from there? Why, why not show what happens to one of the characters in that story? And show you what I'm talking about when sometimes another project that you're working on comes into a project that you're working on at the moment. And they both meld together and something beautiful is born from them. That's what I'm talking about there. How beauty, how creative, how insatiable the hunger is to make these things and let's find out what I did with my story she sprung awake slamming her head hard it took her a moment to realize that she couldn't see she panicked for a moment and then ripped open what was covering her still she found the darkness all around her as she laid in this confined space trying to conceive what was happening. A new thought ran through her head. She was naked. Where were her clothes? Anger circulated through her body as if it were her blood. She felt it slowly weave through her, each point it touched burning from within. Then it just erupted from her fist as something flew and crashed just beyond. The light rushed into the confined dark space, and when her vision cleared, she found herself in the morgue. A man ran in to check out the noise, upon seeing her, froze in fear. His eyes looked upon her, and soon his fear turned to lust. She could see his excitement, feel his excitement, and even smell his excitement. Her ears picked up the quick thumping of his heart each beat sounding like a symphony to her. His scent wafted into her nose seductively, making her feel an insatiable hunger as she licked her lips in anticipation. She found herself slowly walking towards him as if a lion hunting its food. He stood there mesmerized by her as an overwhelming feeling of pure unadulterated lust filled every point of his existence. He felt the blood rushing through him as if it were rivers coursing through the landscape. His skin, red with vita, was so sensitive to sensation that the slightest caress sent him into ecstasy. He felt no fear as he kindly watched her seductively float towards him. His eyes delighted as they washed over her naked form and orgasmed at the sexual, sensual, the sexual sensuality of her graceful walking dance. Even when her fangs slid forth from her gums, he did not fear. He looked at her full luscious lips and hunger for her kiss. She smiled seductively as she slithered to his neck where her red lips caressed and his knees gave from under him. She kissed his neck once and lightning exploded through his being, 
Then with a quick bite, her fangs penetrated his soft flesh, and he melted into her arms. His hot plasma erupted into her waiting mouth as she took it all into her. She sucked hungrily, tenderly, and when her hunger was satiated, he slid from her arms and she gently placed him on the floor. His breath now quick, his heart now like a canary trying to escape from its cage. Slowly the skin lost its blush as his breath was erratic and a symphony when adagio and the lullaby in his chest then stopped. A slow clap exploded from the shadows as a voice said, What will you do now? Offer him eternity? Or allow the sweet release of oblivion? His voice jostles her from the blood trance she was in. There is no remorse for the man that lays before her. She takes a combative stance against the voice from the darkness. The voice breaks the silence again and says, A feisty one, I see. Good. I thought you were. She looks around the room, mustering up her courage, and says, Show yourself, you coward. Suddenly he appears before her, as if from the very shadows themselves, with a smile that is disconcerting. She attacks him as she realizes that this is the man they had held hostage. He grabs her by the throat and picks her up, saying, I thought you learned your lesson, beautiful, but I am a patient teacher. He barely flicks his wrist as she goes flying across the room, slamming hard into the refrigerators. In less than a thought, he is across the room and pinning her with her arms over her head against the fridge. He smiles wickedly and says, well, hello there, so we meet again. And that is the story I came with insatiable. Continuing our little story with our vampire from the story before. Now, he has created her, and we see how she comes forth into being, and how she reacts to the kiss, as some call it. What would you do if all of a sudden you found yourself being a vampire? If all of a sudden you found yourself in a morgue? What would you do? Interesting question there. So that's what I came up with in Satiable. As you can see, one project flowed very easily into another project. And that's the thing I'm telling you. Sometimes just write. You never know what is going to help you. What you're going to write, and it's going to lead into something else. Because we're always working as writers on our project, on what we need to do. And that's the important thing. Like I've said before, write, write, write. And that, my friends, is our show for this week. I am Rafael Tavares, signing off. Till next time, we'll all say something like, Meow. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> Adios. Well, Apple Bites, that's our show for the week, and I hope you liked it. And I know that you did, so there's the thumbs up button right there. You're gonna give me some thumbs up, and you're gonna be like, Hey, Rafa, you did a good job. Or if you want to see me do something else, or you want me to talk about something else about writing, or anything you want me to cover, there is the comment section down below. You can share your story with us perfectly, right there. What do you come up with with the word insatiable? I want to see. I want to share. I want to take this writer's journey together. And of course, if you haven't taken a bite out of the apple, there you go. Take a bite out of the apple and become an apple bite. Four. Press that subscribe button and you'll know when our episodes are coming. All right, people. Hope you liked it. Until next time, this is Rafael Tavares signing off. Come on. You know it. I'm weird. And I got the shirt just to prove it. <laughs>